All right, so what is going on everyone? Swan here, and today we're back with some more uh, Battle Royale. And of course, we have won the Jack Morris 88 overall postseason legend card, 1991 Minnesota Twins starting pitcher. So we are going to, that was actually the year that we won the World Series, 87 and 91. Um, but anyways, yeah, we made it to eight wins, so we're gonna try and get this Bumgarner Live Series card. If you missed yesterday's video, it showed me getting the Jack Morris card and just showing the unveil, the unveiling of Bumgarner, I guess, for our 9-1 reward. So, gosh, reward is such a hard word to say sometimes when you say it fast. But, uh, anyways, yeah, we're gonna hop into a game and hopefully make some quick work of someone and then uh, move on to towards the 12 wins. So anyways, let's see if we can get a game at Tampa Bay going and let's just hop right into the game. Let's go. All right, looks like we found a game. We got our five common pitchers, 66, sorry, 65 overall, 66, 66, 66, 68. Uh, let's see who we get. Hopefully we get our one lefty. That'd be nice. But anyways, we got Jake Lamb hitting at leadoff. Of course, just probably the most widely used leadoff hitter in Battle Royale for this year. Uh, man, or what was I going to say? Uh, player of the month, JD Martinez, crazy hitting card. Uh, Eric Karos, not my favorite card, but it works. Whatever. Tyler Naquin, who I've been hitting really well with, surprisingly, he only has 33 vision and his contact and stuff isn't that great. Uh, Tulo, uh, this is his rookie 89 overall card with the Rockies. Travis Jankowski, uh, Eduardo Nunez, and Robinson, whatever you want to call his last name. I have no idea. But, anyways, looks like he is Chris Davis. I think 99 power versus righties at leadoff. Uh, Trevor Story, Chipper Jones, Beltre, Marwin Gonzalez, uh, Ben Revere, Carlos Sanchez, Ramon Cabrera, and then Brady Rogers on the bump. So, I guess let's just see what happens. Both 66 overall pitchers. What was our guy's name? Chris Young, I think. Chris something. I think it's the really tall guy. Uh, but anyway, it looks like we are the home team, and I think it is the really tall guy. Um, yeah, it definitely is. This guy's massive. But anyways, let's go right into the bullpen and toss in Uehara, 99 overall, and uh, Jerry Blevins, uh, 1.61 ERA with Blevins and 0 ERA with uh, Uehara. So that's pretty huge. He's become he's become a huge part of this run right here. We got Jake McGee, uh, Chris Medlin live series, Carson Smith, Kelvin Herrera, and then Brad Boxberger. So. Let's see what we're gonna do. I like my pitching for this run, so um, let's see if we can continue on and just keep uh, beating people a lot. I just left that right down the middle. That was absolutely awful. But anyways, let's get right back into this. Not let him get a triple, and he's not gonna take it. Why is there no volume? There's literally no volume. What the heck? Okay, uh, anyways. Let's see what he's gonna do. I don't know why he's going. Okay, anyways, yeah. All right, let's go. This is bothering me. I literally have no sound right now, and this has never happened. I'm gonna have to check some stuff after this game. But anyways, no way! No way he hit that out, dude. I put that low. Oh my gosh. That is ridiculous. That should not happen. I don't believe that for a second. Um, but anyways, we're gonna toss in. Blevins actually and let's just see what we can do on Chipper Jones. Let's toss a high sinker in there This would be a nice comeback if we actually come back and win this game and that's complete BS too Like you're really not gonna give me that that call right there uh, Throw a little change up Jake Lamb awful fielder didn't even make an attempt. It didn't seem like at that play um, So you gotta love to see that but anyways here we go. We got Adrian Beltre up we're gonna toss that high sinker in there. Maybe they'll give us a call this time. And he just hits a little bloop, dude. I don't understand this game sometimes. I really don't understand. No one's gonna hit a, a sinker way high and inside for a base hit over the first baseman. But anyways, there are no outs. I just, I think this, this ballpark, this is awful, dude. My catcher is supposed to be good too. This is supposed to be a really good fielding catcher and that's why I picked him. Um, but apparently you can't make a stop, so you gotta love to see it. Throw a sinker inside, uh, gets him a little bit. Now we're gonna throw a cutter in there, and 
Wow, how does he lay off that dude? I don't understand this. This guy definitely seems to be pretty good. But anyways, let's toss a curveball in there. And I did not put it there. And he swings for some reason. Uh, I'll take it. But we got Ben Revere. And let's see what we can do right here. He's got one out only. And he gets another base hit? Are you kidding me? That That is complete BS. Like, I don't understand how he hits that up the middle when it's way outside. They're just get he's just getting all these calls. Um but he's gonna be stealing with Revere, of course. And now oh runners on first and second again. Oh my gosh, give me a call, please. Like and just stop hitting base hits. Okay, there we go. He's got three runs. Oh man, three runs. Why don't I have volume? I need volume. This is so annoying. Uh and that's going to be caught. Good. Okay. I was really worried for a second. There we go. We finally got the third out. There's three runs put up on the board right away. And why is there no volume? I need to hear the game. This is just way too weird. Uh, Jake Lamb gets me a little inside right there. All right. Let's go. Should I take until I get a strike? I think I might do that. And there's a strike that I should have swung at. Dang it. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. Um, let's get a nice little base hit right here. And that's just complete BS, dude. That would have been a hit for him. He would have just oh, poked it out there, just right over the first baseman. Oh, my gosh. Okay, J.D. Martinez. Come on. That was a two-seam? That thing was so slow. Oh, my gosh. And J.D. Martinez puts it down the line, but it's foul. Okay, give me something to hit. Please. Please. I just need to get a hit because this is ridiculous. And he just does one of his... Oh my gosh. Why can't I score? I feel like I should just shut off the recording right now because I don't think I'm going to score. He just keeps throwing me out of the strike zone and I keep chasing so he's going to feel like he can just keep doing that probably. But anyways, Eric Carlos gets a base hit. Probably my least favorite player on this team for what he is. He's a diamond and I just can't hit with him. But whatever, I'll take that. Now we got Tyler Naquin up, and now he's gonna switch pitchers on my bronze hitter after facing a silver and two diamonds and stuff. Now I guess he's not, but Naquin gets a little over it. I'm getting over everything. I need to need to hit it more on a line, and that's more on a line. But of course, it's just right to him. He just I oh my gosh. Why am I getting so mad? So frustrating because I just feel like there's certain games where nothing goes my way. There is not a single play that goes my way. He just hits a home run, he gets a base hit, he gets a ridiculous blue pit. Oh my gosh, it just doesn't make me happy. Uh, sinker, and now he's not going to, watch this, he's not going to get another hit for the rest of the game. Uh, got him on the outside corner, he pops up. Now we got Chris Davis up. Let's hit him with that low cutter. See what we can do with that. And there's another ground out. See him talent. Nope. Wow. If that's not the epitome of what's happened in this game, I don't know what it is. That just doesn't make any sense to me. And then uh, I guess we got Trevor Story up. We're just going to toss. Some... I'm so mad at this game. That is ridiculous. Who's my second baseman? Who is my second baseman that let that ball just go right under his freaking hands. Um, I'm actually gonna check who my second baseman is, because that is, oh, it's Eduardo Nunez. Why is Eduardo Nunez missing that? Uh, we got a nice change up right there. There we go, three outs. Okay, he didn't get a hit. He got on on an error, but that's it. Um, now we got Tulo up. He's probably got some good bullpen for some reason. I don't know. He's, uh, maybe not. He's definitely got something hiding back there. Liam Hendricks. That's not who I was expecting. Uh, Alright, I'll take that. Liam Hendricks on too low. Alright, give me something to hit. We got fastball. We, he's a pretty standard pitcher. He's got actually like five pitches. So he's just going to keep hitting that spot. He's going to keep going low on me, I think. And uh, I don't really like that. But anyways, too low. That, that could be gone. He goes yards, let's go! Oh my gosh, right on the 370, probably 378, I'm gonna guess. Come on, give me the number. I wanna know the number. I don't know if it's gonna show now that he paused it, but, oh, probably not. Um, let's actually swap people. Let's go Hunter Renfro, something, something lefty, but he's got Felipe Rivero, or something righty, I should say. Uh, he's got Felipe Rivero, 
which is not what I was wanting to see because Felipe is just ridiculous. Um, but anyways, here we go. 0-1, oh and, and that... How did he hit that so softly? I refuse to believe that that is even possible. Dude, he, I was not that inside. Oh my gosh, there is no way. And then Eduardo Nunez just a little terrible hit. Oh my gosh, okay, we're down two. But we need to come back because this is just awful and they're just not giving me anything. Um, come on. Ooh, nice changeup. That was tempting. I thought that that was going to drop right into the bottom of the strike zone, actually. Um, but anyways, there we go. There's a the catcher. Is that going to drop? Drop? Come on, dude. No way. His pitchers, fielders can get to anything, but mine just are placed in the ter most terrible positions. But anyways, Adrian Beltre is up now again. And let's hit him with that high cutter. And he, no way he can do that. Dude, I don't believe this. Please throw him out or something. Awful arm, not a chance. Just doesn't even make it there, like nearly there. Um, lead off runner or hitter, batter gets on, whatever you want to say. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm just frustrated. But uh, there you go. Marwin Gonzalez is up. And now we're going to go cutter inside. He's probably not going to swing. He tried to check it, of course, because this dude knows exactly what pitch I'm throwing. Um, gets down a little bit. Okay, let's go sinker. Come on, give me something. Don't get a hit. There we go. Okay, he did get a hit, though, with Beltre. I said he wasn't going to get a hit for the rest of the game, but he ended up doing it. But, uh, anyways, there's one out. And now we got Ben Revere up. We're going to hit him with that inside sinker, kind of. And he just slices it down. No way. Oh, my gosh. And I cut it off. There we go. There we go. Now he's going to... Go home, and there's a double play. Let's go. Huge play. Always throw to the cutoff when you know that the runner doesn't have a shot at going home because he's just going to run to second. But anyways, we got Jerry Blevins up. I think I really need this. I really need this. Okay, let's go. Shoot. Uh, I think I'm going to go. So I'm going to go. That You're going to be like, why are you doing this? But I'm going to go Gio Vitello, whatever. I don't know. Just in case he swaps or keeps the lefty in with... Uh, Jake Lamb up so I can put in Sandberg for him. Um, but anyways, here we go. Uh, that's a base hit. There we go. That's a good start. And it gets by him. Let's go. Okay, this is huge. That's a nice triple to start the inning. Nothing more than a triple, but I will take it. I probably could have ran home. He threw it to third for some reason. I don't know why he was doing that. That was awful. But anyways, we got Jake Lamb up. But we're going to toss in Sandberg and see what we can do. And hold on. Let's... Uh, go to our bullpen real quick just in case and he's gonna put in a lefty and I think I'm gonna I might have to swap back in someone else uh, shoot I have no one else that can play third base no I got to I have to keep Sandberg in uh, I'll take it though here we go bottom of the whatever it is bottom of the third and this is huge come on give me give me a comeback right here it's it's a low Low fastball. Come on, I'm not going to swing. I'm not going to swing. Oh, no. All I needed was one of those calls where they call it a ball. Okay. Get down. Get down. Let's go. There we go. Okay, down one. Down one. That's all I needed. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I could hit a walk-off right here with J.D. Martinez. He's probably regretting not keeping Felipe Rivera in. Oh, my gosh. Get going. Get going. Come on, let's go. No way. Oh my gosh, that was the first time we've had a comeback in a while. Four runs in that inning. Four runs. No way. Was that four or was that three? No, it was three, three runs in that inning. No way. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to actually have to go into um, check who... I got so hold on give me a sec all right let's see who our 12 win reward is we got bum garner this has turned into a decent run we got like 40k now or yeah around 40k actually with uh, the Jack Morris and bum garner card so let's see who we're gonna get if we get 12 wins give me someone good come on give me someone decent Roy Oz okay 
This might be someone good. Houston Astros. Didn't know he was on the Astros. Uh, 2005 postseason legend Oswald. Okay, we need to check Roy Oswald's, uh, how much he costs. Because he might be for quite a bit. Especially because he's a new postseason legend starting pitcher. That is huge. 150k. 150k. That's what I like to see. Let's go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop a like if you guys did enjoy. I'm going to try and grind it out and get this card. So anyways, like I said, drop a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe here if you are new. And as always, I hope you're all having a nice day. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.